the ladies of Madison, the ladies of Madison, real talk is real, the ladies of Madison, the ladies of Madison, the ladies of Madison. The day we have to correlate with each other, man and woman. So exactly. If we start with our relationships with each other, as women too, mm -hmm. our relationship with each other, we can build better to advance Definitely. with our men. You know, and, and as women, we don't know how much power we have. We have a lot of power, but we don't know how to use it. Women that's only looking for a black man, you're gonna be asked out. Yeah. Straight up and down. You know, it's not just a, a beauty on the outside, but on the inside that she has to recognize within herself. Well, that comes with age, that comes with experience. That comes with wisdom, that comes with going through things. And straight off the back, as a young girl, you don't know those things. Hi, tonight's topic is Are We Dying to Be Superficial Beauty Standards? We're going to be talking about plastic surgeries, butt implants, breast implants, and the things where I actually want to find out from men do they prefer? this type of woman as opposed to, let's say, the natural woman. So, um, right, we're going to have this going. She wants to talk about plastic surgery. We're going to have her say a couple of words. I see nothing wrong with plastic surgery. If you feel that you need a little nip tuck here and there, you have the money, that's on you. Yes. Now, I wish I had the money, because I'd be nip tucking everywhere. <laughs> but I don't think there's anything wrong with plastic surgery. I think that there's something wrong with the humongous butts that we see now. It's just not realistic. Everybody's ass is huge. Y'all mean, give me a break. For one, they're not doing it for themselves. They're doing it for men. Because there's no way a woman that I know, you need your ass to be so big. I'm sorry to say ass. To the point where it hurts these women to sit down. So I it's just ridiculous. Have to sit down too. What? I always wondered how they set. It, it really hurts. I watched this girl where I go get my hair done. She has a butt implant. And she's like, I need a pillow. It's just so, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It hurts. And they don't even know what they're putting in their butt. You just, it's just stupid. I just think the self take it to a, has a changed. audience and to let us know what do you, what do you think about it? Do you prefer that, the natural but, world? Um, personally, if that's my, my wife or woman I'm seeing, I would not want that. I would rather have, you know, the way I met her to be God-given. I see why women do it. I mean, there's a, beauty has a price, and that's how a lot of women look at it. And at the end of the day, women want attention. So that's why they go to those measures to get that attention. So that's what it is. That's not why I'm saying I would do it. Not for yeah, attention from anybody I, else. I don't it's think, I don't think my, you need it at all. I think dad, you look loved. Well, thank you. But I know I need a nip here and a tuck there. <laughs> and I don't think you need that at all. Everybody. I don't think you need that at all. Well, see, and that's I think it's okay if you're doing it for yourself. But, if right, you're for myself. You're not happy with something, else. I think that's fine. But when you do your ass, you can't even see your ass. Right. Really. So you're doing it for somebody else. It's see. just ridiculous. But what do we see on TV? Everybody's our body. Yeah, I'm saying that's all the well, images that we see. Life. So, you know, women think they need that for some reason. Why do we think that we need to have... You well, know, us on the panel, we, we are all well endowed in the back end area. I mean, I don't know. Because because every man, I, I sell reshaping garments. I deal with a lot of women on a daily basis. Some of it is just a natural insecurity and a desire to be more wanted or voluptuous or dependent on their, their mindset. Um, recently, my mom. She's had plastic surgery, and she looks amazing, you know, and I, you know, I, of course, I'm I, I'm her daughter, so I see the before and after. Mm -hmm. I've and seen pictures of your mother on that you posted on right. Facebook. I couldn't believe that was your mother. Oh, you tell her. Because like, she looks fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, she's did it because she's always wanted to do it. She's had three girls. You don't want a big pooch for the rest of your life if you have the option to get rid do of it. it. I think we're saying it's okay, mm -hmm. but we're saying if you're doing it for yourself, mm -hmm. if you're doing it to tuck your stomach, to mm -hmm. just facelift, just rhinoplasty, those things I think are okay. But when you start, I just, going off, yeah, like, the injections, that's something I just don't understand. Maybe it's just me. What do you think? Personally, <laughs> um, I like the I think that it's 
more about pressure. You know, you're watching TV and you see these girls out there, they're getting money, these husbands and looking more beautiful. You feel like you have to do it, you have to do it to, get to look that way. You know, it's more of a, a, a perception of what you see on television. I mean, I would definitely get a plastic surgery. I mean, I'd suck with this. What did this or just tell you? <laughs> exactly, this is why. Exactly. A little bit tuck here, a little lift here. I mean, me personally, I, would, I wouldn't. And I'm the thicker one on the panel. Um, they be fighting for the thicker one. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't. I've seen a lot of. I mean, I'm always watching educational, you know, pro programs, mm -hmm. and it gives you the darker side. Not to say that it, anything like that would happen to me, but um, I mean, I've been slim. No, no, seriously, I've been, yeah, I've been slim. Right. Not one in my butt. I one in my butt. You know, profusely. I mean, it just depends on where you went. It's not worth dying. Yes, absolutely, absolutely not. And you can get the pain, you, you can get all of those things. I just don't think it's worth dying. If you it's not, let me know. It's not. Sorry. I mean, I've, I've also felt, you know, I don't think my, I have a flat butt. And I've seen bigger and said, okay, maybe I should go bigger. But whenever I lose weight, I tend to lose my butt first. Mm -hmm. I figured I need to lose weight because I want to be slimmer for the, you know, the career that I'm pursuing. You have, like, I used to work on, in the news and everyone was, was a size zero, blonde here was size zero. It was harder for me because I was a size six and black, you know what I mean? And I felt like I had to get slimmer. And I lost weight and lost my butt. And I just started to feel like maybe I do need to get to do surgery to get my butt, to make my butt bigger. So Would you get pressure injections? Well, everyone says I shouldn't, so. Well, did you ever do it? <laughs> I think, honestly speaking, I think I would. Or an implant? I think I would. I know I definitely, I'm definitely going to consider liposuction. Mm -hmm. That's a given. I'm going to do it. Tell me tell. I'm going to tell me tell. I have any kids. I think at a certain oh. age. Well, what would you like to do? My stomach. Definitely. That's the same thing as the tummy. Yeah, but come to a complete I mean, you know what, me personally, I don't want to go through the pain. I don't want to have to that I might not wake up. Exactly. Yeah. That scares me. Because I'd rather be thick than a course. <laughs> 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 they don't want to be thick. That's the chance you take with any surgery. Yeah, but that's a surgery you choose. An elective. You choose to do that. It's not accepted that if you have to have surgery. That's different. But look how beautiful you look when you wake up. I'm not going to take that chance. True. Yes. Right, it depends on the, the surgeon that you choose. I mean, but it's always that chance, and I'm just not one person to say, I, I, I because I want some things right. Yeah. 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 I'll just do it the old fashioned way, work out. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing quick. Yeah. Oh, I want to say something. Yeah, I, I want to say, I don't. I, I understand what I'm saying. Kanisha. Kanisha is saying, and I see the passion, I see you know, her reaction to it. But at the end of the day, I just think that I don't think you should go that route. I think, and I'm not just saying, I think you're a lovely woman. And I think more, I think more women or more people in general just need to just try to to look at themselves and just try. And if, if they have to, what happened to dieting? What happened to exercising? What happened to choosing another career path? Like, don't let society dictate to you what you what you should do. Like, choose something else, you know. And, and I can understand because I work a cor in corporate America, and I understand what you're saying. It might not be the same field, but. At the same time, we can't continue <coughs> let society dictate to us, well, my ass is not big enough, or this is not big enough, or this is not round enough, or this is not, like, I, I don't think, I think we, we, we can't do that. I think we need to just continue to be positive about the situation, eat right, exercise, wellness, that's what we need. But you see, that's also easier said, that's a good point, but it's also easier said than done. I mean, you go, you're looking for a husband, you go out and you're in a club, or even at dinner or a restaurant, you're sitting down and everyone walks past you because you're thicker and the thinner girl is sitting right there, you know what I mean? It's, you don't have time, I don't have time to waste, you know, <laughs> at all. <laughs> you know, I want kids, I want a husband, why can't I be married to that? But then you don't do it. <laughs> 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 but I mean, wow. you're not doing this. So you know, what's Growing up, I hated my lips. They used to call me fish lips through junior high school, all the way through high school. And I hated them. And then all of a sudden, Angelina Jolie comes out and lips are okay. <laughs> and I come with my lips. It just sucks. You know what I mean? It's society. It's society you know? Well, the media itself is, is a, a very, um, you have to look a certain way yes. to be in media. As you know, yeah. from skin color to Especially hair skin color. to size so it's it's a lot of pressure if you're in that career mm -hmm. path to look mm -hmm. a certain way and if you want to work it's sad but you have to conform and, and a lot of people if, if they don't conform 
you know, it's just like, you know how you have women who, who are anorexic and bulimic and they do everything just to be a size zero. Also, and what about skin bleaching? I was going to say that. Yeah. Also, I mean, I'm from Jamaica and That's big skin and bleaching is crazy in, <clears throat> in Jamaica. I mean, I, well, I have an aunt who, I mean, she was triple darker than me and now she's like caramel. You know, she's beige. She took bath skin bleach. Her whole body is caramel. It's so even out it's as if she was born that way. You know, it's so bad. I mean, dark skin girls do. You, you say that we happy in skin color, but then they say if you're walking with your friend just because she's light skin, someone's gonna holler her over you because she's already accepted to be more beautiful. When at the end of the day, she probably isn't. That's I see it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people still have that stigma. Yeah, but I see it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And they, I see it all the time. They, they make you feel like, oh, a light skin girl's more beautiful. But sometimes, just, I, like, look at. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it. I don't care. Since it's tiny. T.I.'s wife, hideous by far. And they might put a dog in the next to her too since she, she, she's pretty. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Listen, I'm going to say this. Yeah. Yeah. No, sister, <laughs> I just think when you open the door, when you talk about skin color, I mean, I just really think there is a lot of um, self hate, a lot of black people that don't love their skin color like if you look at the athletes and you look at their wives and you look at a lot of celebrities and you look at their wives and they're like this is my son and you're like really go on are the little black boys Every, they, everyone looks so mulatto and i just think that for you to just really i love this woman you love this woman she's light skin long hair she looks totally opposite from this strong black man that's standing beside her and you're like wow but to be know, somewhere some it's deeper facts, and that's you know? what i'm saying it's deeper there is some self-hate we as a community we don't talk about it we don't address it but it's so in our face mm -hmm. now and i think it's personal and, power as well right? but it's changing our community mm -hmm. yeah you have to totally. have the personal power to know that no matter how you look right. you bring it something yeah. to the world that mulatto can't um i think that sure, i love my it comes with age what? too the world. I, think, I think your independence and your beauty, your self perception, it comes with But I think issue. we are more racist sometimes with each other. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Well, that's why I'm talking about self hate. I don't agree. I don't agree. I agree. You know how we are. But then again, you know I'm not engulfed in right. that. I don't watch TV. Right. It's nothing that's I'm in corporate America as well. Right. And you know, you can even see which I left because I can't. Yeah, because I tend to be that way. I, I just think the history, our history, we, the past has said black is wrong all along. Mm -hmm. So we've never really addressed Erased. that. We've never really corrected that past. So you, it's just, just multiplied. Mm -hmm. We're also, just acting like you know don't see them. When it comes to here, whatever you say. browner skin people, African Americans or light skin, there's a reason for that. Somewhere in your ancestry, there was a white man. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason that you come out much lighter than the average African American person. I know in my family personally, my great grandfather was a white man. And I have cousins that live in Detroit. If they were to walk through that door, you would swear they was a white person. That comes from somewhere down the line, there is white in your blood. I know we, we I mean, got a little off topic. Yeah. We were talking about plastic surgery. Oh, yeah, we were talking about plastic surgery. How are we talking about white people? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The jackets, the plastic surgery, and stuff like that. The skin bleaching is what I just don't understand. Like, how yeah, yeah. you actually go and bleach your skin. Like, sometimes, it's a, sometimes it's a dermatologist's recommendation. Right. You know what I mean? This um, might be yeah. that right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. feel they're okay being dark skin. Mm -hmm. and why think, do we feel it's not okay? I think, I think I blame, blame. that's the history. I blame well, everyone we though. say, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. 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 I'm they don't tell each other. They don't let them know, oh, it's wrong. You shouldn't do it. They just and you all in the crowd. Hey, let's party. You look good, girls. I mean, and you don't look like powder. You know what I mean? Royce, you want to say something? Um, at the end of the day, we just really have to accept who we are and not stop letting all this crap about you got a big butt, I gotta have a big butt to get attention, or this person has big boobs, I gotta have big boobs to get the man of my dreams and stuff like that. We just have to be 
comfortable with the skin we're in. Unfortunately, some aren't, and we need to start talking to them and start accepting who we are, and then we will get what we want based on the character of who we are. And then butt implants. And That's an uphill battle. Yeah, that, 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 I, I agree with you, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to find <laughs> I see that there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery, like going back to what you said. Um, if you're doing it for yourself and you want to just look good and you just have a couple of things that you want to change and that's fine. But there are a lot of women out there who do um, these type of things to themselves, not knowing the repercussions. You know, at the end of the day, women and all people in general should love themselves no matter what skin color, no matter what their hair looks like, no matter how big or small they are. And if we're going to talk about plastic surgery and all that cosmetic things, it also goes back to hair we use, makeup, no. and heels Girl, that we wear. So <laughs> Medicine. The ladies of Madison, the ladies of Madison, the ladies of Madison.